Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. Please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche? Capiche. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button is greatly appreciated and it does help out a channel. So right now we got my neighbor's dog barking. So some of y'all, you're about to be warned about a particular person, place, or thing. Or situation. Um, before I started this reading, there was something here about a sidestepper. Someone keeps sidestepping a situation or a subject. Someone keeps avoiding something here. Um... Maybe someone here is avoiding you. I don't know. Who knows? I'm also getting someone's going to come in and warn you about something like a friend. One of your friends. If you guys have friends. <laughs> those are some of you. Not all y'all. Um, I'm not laughing at you. Um, hold on. Maybe somebody feels like you're laughing at them or uh, I don't know. Let's find out who this is for. Or maybe this is someone here who laughed at you. At, at once upon a time. Maybe you're getting signs and warnings about this person. Maybe this person's around you. Maybe you don't realize this person's not on your side or they're not cool with you. We got Sagittarius. Did I do Sag yet? Come on now. Nah. Oh, there we go. Um, I did Capricorn, Leo, Virgo, Sag. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is your reading. You can have Sag anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. You got someone here who's um highly focused on you right now. There's something here about your freedom, your the way you be, what you believe in, your philosophy about life. Okay. Um, you guys could have someone targeting you at work. We have Virgo at the bottom of the deck, or you have someone here, Sagittarius, that's targeting your health and your wealth, child. We have Leo. You guys could have a Leo that's targeting you at this time or throwing arrows at you in some way. Okay. Um, and there's something here that you need to put out there in the world or you, there's something here that you need, um, You need to get something off your chest or something like that. Or there's something here that you need to share. Okay. And it's supposed to help not just you, but like a whole group of people here. I'm also getting like someone's highly focused on what you're doing because they're trying to see, um, or they're trying to catch you breaking the rules or something. Someone wants to catch you breaking the rules, Sag. So they can lock you up. Lock up. Okay. Or someone here feels trapped in their head because you're free or, or you're you're free from their their grips or something. We have Pisces. You guys can be dealing with Pisces or you can have Pisces somewhere in the chart. There's a need for you to truly trust in your intuition at this time. Okay. There's something here about your confidence as well. Maybe someone here is upset because you're very confident in your in the intuitive messages that you receive, the intuitive guidance um, that you get. Or someone's trying to mess that up for you, okay? Maybe someone's trying to mess with your crown chakra or your third eye. We got Capricorn. You guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone who has Capricorn somewhere in their chart, or you do. Yeah, someone here is highly focused, or there's a need for you to stay focused. Keep your eyes on the prize when it comes to what you got going on in your life, okay, Sag? Someone here wants to come in with a distraction. We have um, Gemini. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Someone here is really loud that you're dealing with. The number 611 could be significant. Someone's going to come in and communicate some sort of truth to you or there's going to be communication coming to you, to you and you're going to be really happy about it. 
You're going to have good news coming in. Or if you're manifesting some sort of success in your life, it's coming in. Okay? We have Virgo. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you could have Virgo somewhere in your chart. And then we have Aries. You guys could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries somewhere, somewhere in their chart. You got someone who's competing with you. Or there's someone here that's highly obsessed with bringing challenges to your life. They're desiring you to be um, weak. Someone's trying to weaken you. We have Cancer. This person could be a cancer or they could have cancer somewhere in their chart or you do. Someone's in their feelings about something that happened in the past. Use your intuition. You have someone here who's not, who's holding on to a grudge. They're not happy about something that happened in the past. Maybe they're, you know, maybe they, this person's around you. Maybe this person is telling you like everything's cool. They're not upset about something here that happened in the past. Okay. But they are upset. <coughs> Jesus, my throat. Someone here, I don't know. Someone here is just, somebody's mad. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Saggers? What's happening with my Sagittarius? What do they need to know right now for their highest good at this time? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Saggers need to hear at this time for their highest good? Okay, we have Snake. Someone here could have the Chinese Zodiac sign of the snake. This could be you or someone else. And then we have Rooster. Someone here could have the Chinese Zodiac sign of the rooster. This could be you or someone else. You could be someone who's, um... Very honest, very hardworking, very talented, okay? Someone here wants to communicate something to you. Or you might find out that somebody here has been talking a lot of shit about you, Sag. Someone here has a lot of fucking opinions about you. This is someone here who's very impatient and very reckless at the mouth, okay? This person could be talking shit about you because they're jealous or something. Or this person is now suspicious of you or... Um, Someone's coming towards you trying to get you to be suspicious of someone else. Okay. This could be a Scorpio. We have the eighth house here. Or there's something here about your inheritance. Okay. A spiritual inheritance or a 3D inheritance. Or someone's talking shit because you changed. You went through some sort of major transformation. And someone here is just mad about it. They could be jealous. Because this could be someone here who's stuck in the same spot or something like that. I'm also getting, you're going to be getting some sort of communication here about something, some sort of somebody passing away. If so, my condolences, condolences, or you might be, um, someone here could be going around talking crap about like who you slept with before, or someone was lying and saying that they slept with you when they didn't. Maybe you don't know about this. Some sort of hidden, hidden knowledge is about to be revealed. Okay. You're being asked to have strength or something when you find this out because you might want to uh, sock someone in the throat. We have Virgo. This could be a Virgo. Could have been going around talking ish. Or you guys could have a Virgo that's jealous of you or something like this. Or this is somebody here in the uh, in your workplace or something like that. Or someone who is in the healthcare field or you are in the healthcare field and someone's jealous of something here. This could have been somebody here that you were giving to. You gave to somebody. You were very generous to someone. Damn. You're, you guys could be dealing with a very narrow-minded individual. Someone's jealous of your intuition or something. Or your, your charisma you have. We have 12th house. This could be a hidden enemy. This person feels defeated because they couldn't defeat you. Someone here is about to self-destruct. Okay? Because they refuse to surrender or something. You could be psychic. Or you could be dealing with a psychic. Someone's under some form of punishment. Someone here might end up getting into some sort of freak accident or a car accident. Or someone might try to come towards you and tell you... That something was an accident that they said or um, some sort of lie that was told. You're going to say it's a misunderstanding. I'm also getting like someone here has a lot of opinions about you, your mystical power, okay? Or your talent or something here. Something's been returned for sure. Some sort of illusion here. You guys could be dealing with a Pisces, don't have to be. We have South Node. Yeah, somebody here is in their South Node. They're in survival mode. This could be a karmic from your past. Um, 
someone here that you recently let go or a past life situation. Someone tried to, someone did something here out of survival. You could already be aware of this or something. So, so there's gonna there's gonna be some sort of end of karma, uh, not karma. There's gonna be an end of some sort of drama, and someone else is gonna start having karma. We have fourth house. This could be somebody from your family, or somebody here from your support group. This could be a parent for some of y'all. Someone here that you grew up with during childhood, or someone here was definitely trying to do something to your womb. Someone here is trying to prevent you from having intimate relationships with some with someone or some people. Someone's in fear you're going to get pregnant. Someone's hyper-focused on your reproduction um, organs. Child, what the hell going on? That's for some of you, not all y'all. I don't know. What the hell going on, Sag? I gotta hurry up. Mental conflict, gratitude in, re in reverse. What the hell? Somebody, you, you're dealing with a very ungrateful person who, um, who could be a little crazy. I don't know. This, this could be someone who's not thankful for their life or the opportunities that present themselves. This, this is. Jeez Louise, someone here got a lack mindset that you're dealing with. Um, someone here is hiding their hate for you or something like that, or their, their jealousy, or their suspicion of you or something like that. Or someone doesn't understand. Someone here could be confused about how you're still grateful Someone doesn't understand where your gratitude comes from or something. It says, I am grateful or it says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Someone's confused about how you're still able to be a grateful person. Even though they put you through something or even though they were lying on you or something. I don't know. That something was supposed to break you and it didn't break you. Okay, Sag? We have awareness. You could be very aware of who this person is. Or you could be someone who's a very um, powerful manifester. Or you get, um, you could be someone who's very, uh, someone who has a very powerful intuition or something like this. You're t you're highly connected, whoever I'm speaking to. You're you're highly connected to the um, to the spiritual realm. Maybe there's a need for you to rest at this time. Okay, or there's a need for you to relax. The number 14 could be significant. You guys could be born on the 14th or you're dealing with someone who's born on the 14th. Someone here could be 41 years old. Okay, someone here could be a life path one or a life path four. Base chakra, okay? Someone here could be in fear because you're aware of something. Someone here could be in fear because you're at peace. You're resting, you're rejuvenating, you're recharging your energy. Maybe somebody here did something recently in order for in order for your vitality to be sucked out of you, to be sucked out of you. Maybe somebody did something recently to um, siphon energy out of out of you, or to get you to be weak, to get you to be tired, to get you to be lethargic. But you're you recharged. You weren't supposed to recharge, I guess, from whatever they or you weren't supposed to recover from something here that they did or that they sent. We have harmony because someone's trying to block you from being in a relationship here or they're trying to block you from being in harmony with the universe or someone's trying to block you from being in harmony with yourself with your masculine and your feminine energy or someone here's trying to block you from um a loving relationship child or someone coming in to balance a relationship with you someone here could be 64 or 46 years old or 61 or um yeah we have prosperity begins someone wants to come in and offer you something Someone wants a long-term commitment with you. Okay. Or someone wants to offer you like a, some form of long-term contract that's going to lead to happiness. Someone's trying to block your happiness, child. They're trying to block opportunities from you. Love, business, financial, um, something. 
It says, I am aware that I'm being happy. Oh, yeah, brr. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, okay? <clears throat> the number 311 could be very significant. You guys, this number is all about you not losing hope when it comes to the, matter of, the matters of uh, love, of romance. Love is possible. Don't give up on yourself, okay? Um... I could be speaking to an empress. You guys got the ace of pentacles and the ace of wands. Hot diggity dang. <laughs> Someone's attracted to you. They really want to offer you something. They're, they're viewing you as this empress. Someone sees your worth and your value. Okay, you may know this person. You may not know this person. You, whoever I'm speaking to, you intuitively know something here with this third eye. You're about to get some sort of material and spiritual prosperity here soon. Okay, you've been patiently waiting for this. And someone's been actively trying to block this. <laughs> oh, well. What's going on, Spirit? I'm also getting, you're about to get some sort of idea, some sort of epiphany or an idea that's going to like really. It's part of your justice. It's going to bring in some sort of justice for you and bring balance into your life. Yeah, someone's aware of some sort of false documents, or you are, or you're aware that someone is a hidden enemy of yours, okay, or somebody here lied about something, or the authorities could be aware that someone here manipulated some sort of documents here. Yeah, you expect some sort of, uh, some, uh, something here. Expect some sort of, uh, win, money, windfall, something. Or someone's aware that you're going to be receiving something here. From the courthouse, hot diggity dang. Okay. I'm also getting something here that you prayed for, that you've been manifesting. It's being granted. Okay. Maybe somebody was trying to take your manifestation or your wishes and trying to like, um, counteract them or something or trying to block them in the spiritual realm and spiritual court ruled in your favor or something yeah you deserve real love real love you're getting a real love <laughs> okay or someone here has already decided that you know you're who they want so this could be about love this could be about business this could be about inheritance flip what we need to go guys or it could be all three we have achievement we have awakening we have distant future child listen Whoever I'm speaking to, in the di you're being asked to rest and rejuvenate right now because in the distant future, you're about to be um, really, I don't know, you're about to be surprised. You're about to win some sort of reward or something. A trophy. You're about to um, get, uh, get some form of recognition for something here. Hot diggity dang. We got rich man at the bottom of the deck. Maybe there's a rich man here that uh, wants to be with you or they want to offer something to you. Well, hot diggity dang. What do we got, Harmony? We have message. This is a message of concern that somebody here wants to come towards you. You guys could have a um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that wants to come in and offer you something. No, it could be a Virgo. Or they could have Virgo somewhere in their chart. Yeah. Someone here is finding out some sort of concerning message that someone wants to come in and offer you marriage. They want the long term, the long haul. They want the long haul with you. Someone here could be 37 years old or they could be born in 1972. This could be you or someone else. Somebody uh, could be getting a message that they go into jail. Child, I don't know. Or someone here is all up in their head because someone wants to come in with a, a love offer towards you. Somebody wants to come in and marry you. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay. This is the hidden enemy that could be concerned about some sort of love offer coming your way or having this or this person coming your way with the whatever. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants a new beginning with you or there's somebody here that wants to be married and wants to have a child with you. This could be a Pisces. Don't have to be. He out here again. There's a there's a uh, there's a man out here that wants to be with you. Saggy. Hot diggity dang or a woman. Flip where needs to go. But this person could be very um, rich in the spirit or rich, <laughs> or rich in the, the 3D. Okay. Hot diggity dang. Someone sees you as a motherfucking rising star child. 
someone sees you as a rising star and you got someone here obsessed with you being in the spotlight or you being in some form of energy here um maybe someone here is obsessed with trying to get a rising star to be you know ripped if you know what i'm saying Jeez, louise okay so like i was saying in the other reading now i just got reminded of that let me just look at the song you guys could have somebody here that's very much upset that there's someone here who's interested in you okay um The song by Tyler Creator, Tyler the Creator, um, I think it's called Magic Wand or New Wand. Yeah, it's called New Magic Wand, okay? It's by, it's by this, this individual, this young man, okay? Um, in the beginning of the song, it goes, sometimes you got to close a door to open a window. That's what he says. And then it goes on and he says, I saw a photo. You look joyous. My eyes are green. I eat veggies. I need to get her out the picture. She's really effing up my frame. She's not developed like we are. Like magic, like magic, like magic, gone. So someone here could have been doing magic on you to get you to get gone. Okay. This is somebody here that feels like, um they, they their eyes grow green with envy okay when they see a photo of you or when they look at you and you're happy and you're joyous they don't like it this is somebody here that wants to get you out the picture um you irk this person's soul your light irritates this person's demons um they feel like for some reason you need to be gone okay or you're ugh, not that well yeah that but this is someone here who feels like you're the reason why they don't have something that they want or, or they don't they're not with somebody that they want to be with um someone feels like the solution is to get rid of you but i feel like whoever this person is that's trying to get what whatever they want it, it, whatever they want is, is not meant for them or something like that and that's why they don't have it somebody's sick someone here could have blood in their bowels or something like that i don't know we have new magic or that's what they wanted for you we have new magic new magic new magic wand like magic like magic like magic gone somebody was trying to get you gone and then it goes my brother said i'm on the spectrum don't call me selfish i hate sharon this 60 40 isn't working I want a hundred of your time, your mind. So somebody wants to have someone's 100% of someone's uh, attention, love, and time. And this person can't give it to them because their heart belongs to you or whoever they love, child. Says, please don't leave me now. Please don't leave me now. So someone here doesn't want someone to leave them. They could be begging this person not to leave them. Um, and then it goes, I want to be found passenger in your car don't leave you want to be mean mixed signals don't park i can make her leave she's gonna be dead i just got a magic wand don't leave we can finally be together what is going on is someone trying to get rid of you so that you is this like a married man with with a with a side chick or a married woman with a side dude and their side chick or side dude is like wanting to get rid of the wife or the husband in order for them to get it to for oh my god what the hell going on it says you roll the dice hit a seven sure you right beginner's luck you're not my first who gives an who gives a fuck your other one evaporate we celebrate you're under oath now pick a side if you don't so someone here could have been somebody someone here could have lied under oath Maybe someone was given an alternate, an alternate, an ultimatum in order to, to pick a side or something like that. And then it goes, run, run, run. I'll pick you both. Run, run, run. It's not a joke. And then it says murder. She wrote, listen, I don't like the vibe. You guys can, you guys can read the rest of the lyrics, but, um, someone here is losing their gosh diggity dang mind because you're going to be in love with somebody that they want to be in love with, or someone's in love with you that they love or someone was trying to get you gone child 
Someone's trying to get you gone. Someone's trying to get you gone. I'm scared. <laughs> what is going on? I'm also getting during some form of meditation, you're about to get some sort of download here. You need to pay attention. So maybe your your ancestors want your attention at this time. Maybe there's a need for you to go within. What's going on? What do my Sages need to hear at this time for their highest good regarding this situation spirit? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good regarding what we've already been picking up? Thank you. We have love block spell. Says someone does not want you to be happy in love. This is what this whole thing's about. Somebody is going to be coming in with an offer and you got someone here in the background that is losing their gosh diggity dang mind. You're going to be victorious though when it comes to this relationship or whatever this partnership is or business offer is because it could be love, it could be business, it could be whatever. Says you will be victorious over any attacks against you. No matter what they do, you will win. We have binding spells. Someone here could be doing a binding spell on you. It says someone is using spell work to keep you from using your personal power. <clears throat> this is someone here who's having a pity party. They say it. It says someone is going through tough times and they want you to experience the same thing. So you got someone here that's not doing so hot and they don't want you to be doing so hot either. Someone here wants you to F off on your responsibilities and they want you to just go party hardy. It's the vibe it's giving. We have spiritual bath. Some of you are being asked to take a spiritual bath, okay? Or a spiritual shower. Um, it says take a spiritual bath to break curses and remove negative vibes that have been sent your way. If you don't know how to do this, you can Google it. Just Google it or you could YouTube how to take a spiritual bath, how to take a spiritual shower. I'm pretty sure there's videos on there. It says, um, submission magic it says someone wants to submit to them or somebody wants you to submit to them to allow them to have their way with you so someone here is trying to get you to bow down bow down bitches i don't know something like that we got the legion it says the legion of demonic spirits have been dispatched to attack you through people around you so um someone here is definitely i don't know maybe you need to stay to yourself at this time because the, the 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 enemy is jumping into one vessel after another in order to get to you okay to siphon off energy from you to get um yeah that's what it looked like to me hot diggity dang who doing this or maybe this is confirmation for you maybe you did already take a spiritual bath okay and um, it, it sent back whatever these energies and negative intentions are. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who does person out here doing a love box spell on my Sadgers with the pity party? Someone who was born in the 1970s could have been doing a love blocking spell on you. They don't want you to be happy in love. Who is this person out here doing a love blocking spell? This person could have speckled skin, freckles, moles. Who out here doing the love block and spell spirit? This could be somebody here who loves the outdoors. Okay. Who's doing this love block and spell? Someone who has a mental health issue. Okay. Someone here who needs help. Okay. Oof. Tell me more. This person could be very highly emotional at this time. Who does person doing this love blocking spell spirit? Someone here could be bipolar or something. We have Sagittarius. You guys could be dealing with another Sagittarius that's doing a love blocking spell on you. This person could be blonde. Okay. This person could be addicted to jerugs. Okay. That's where some of you got all y'all. And we have Pisces at the bottom of the deck. All right. Um, this person could be overindulging or self-medicating. Okay. At this time because... They really don't want you to be in love with someone else. This could be an ex of yours that's doing this love blocking spell. Or this could be <clears throat> somebody that wants to be with you, their ex. Somebody's on drugs though. Or someone's addicted to trying to block love out your life. Or someone's addicted to trying to get you to go through the same tough things they're going through. Okay. Who's trying to do this binding spell? 
This could be someone who's traditionally religious trying to do a binding spell on you or someone here's trying to get you to lose hope and lose faith like they have. Yeah, we got Aquarius. Someone's trying to get you to lose hope and lose faith in your dreams, your, your purpose. This person could be Middle Eastern, or you are. Flip, where do you go? Who is this person out here doing a binding spell? Or someone here is trying to bind, bind them, bind you because they don't want you to heal. We have Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn here that's trying to do a binding spell on you. We have a Taurus. This could be a Taurus trying to do a binding spell on you. This could be a Libra that's trying to do a binding spell on you. This could be someone who's a Gen Zer. Okay, they could be born in the 2000s. Something about Twitter is significant. This person could be a Sagittarius. Okay, you guys could be dealing with another Sag. And someone here could be very emotional. Something here about moles is significant or freckles. Yikes. What is this person emotional about? King of Cups in reverse? Queen of Cups. So this could be a Queen of Cups. Okay. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Someone here is overly emotional and manipulative, moody. Yet they're emotional unavailable. So someone here is self-obsessed self with their own emotions, but they're not concerned about other people's emotions or something like that someone here could be emotionally immature this could be a couple you got one person who's emotionally unavailable or overly emotional or someone here like manipulates with emotion or manipulates other people's emotions to get their way Maybe someone's sad. Maybe there's a King of Cups in reverse that's upset because they couldn't get. They couldn't fool a Queen of Cups. You could be this Queen of Cups. You could be someone who's very loving, someone who's very intuitive, psychic, okay? You could be someone who's very in tune with yourself. And someone's mad they can't manipulate you. They're mad they can't manipulate your emotions. They're mad they can't manipulate. Um, how you feel about them. Someone's mad that you, they can't manipulate how someone else feels about you. Ay Dios. Alright, Sag. I don't want this to be too long, so let's go straight into Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do my Sagers need to hear at this time for their highest good? We have glasses. Someone here could wear glasses or there's someone here who's seeing a situation or a person clearly. You could be seeing through someone here very clearly. Or there's a need for you to look at something from a different perspective or someone's looking at you in a whole nother perspective. <clears throat> or someone clearly sees you for who you are um, because you had someone here trying to convince them that you are someone to be... Um, not feared, but you're somebody here who needs to be avoided or something. Like somebody here try to caution someone about you or warn them about you. Um, someone's trying to make you look real bad, but they're seeing through this now. We have father. Something here about your father or a baby father or a CEO or a boss or a manager could be significant. We have invasion of privacy. So someone here could have been invading your privacy, whether that was, you know, on the 3D or in the spiritual. We have good vibes. You could be someone here who has good vibes. Maybe someone was going around telling someone you have bad vibes. You're not good company. Okay. But they're seeing that you're good vibes. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? And this is making someone emotional. We have a gossip about you. So someone here was going around gossiping about you. Telling people all types of lies and rumors, child. We have moving out of state. Someone here could be trying to move out of state. This could be a baby father for some of y'all or your actual father is trying to move out of state because they might be, might be getting in trouble for invading your privacy. Someone here regrets that they left you. 
someone here could be in regret that they left you behind or they abandoned you this could be your own father okay for some of y'all or this could be a baby father maybe they want to come in and say they want their family back together <clears throat> with you and your and your guys's child or children it says i'd be or not i'd be it says it'd be the ones closest to you why do i keep picking this up there's something here about a microphone I don't know if someone has a listening device in your house or someone's using one of your devices as a listening device, like your TV or your cell phone, your iPod, something, your AirPods, something. Someone's using something as a mic. This is under invasion of privacy. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's an Apple product. We have copyright. Okay. Someone's, uh, I don't know, someone's doing something. In the collective read I just did, I said something about a trademark. <clears throat> Someone needs to trademark their 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 slogan or their catchphrase, or someone needs to trademark their business or something like that. Something about trade trademarking, Cop copyright. We have heartache. Okay, so someone here is they're heartbroken now after they gossiped about you because now they they're seeing the truth that. That you're not what they were gossiping about or someone joined in on some sort of gossip about you just because they were heartbroken by you oh my god we got 10 10 whatever something here is completing okay 70 years and above someone here could be that age bracket this could be you or someone else damn we have codependent siblings so something here about a codependent sibling of yours or someone else's could have been invading your privacy okay we have CPS. Someone here could have called CPS on you to break your heart. Or someone was gossiping about you so someone else could call CPS on you. So that you could be, you know, feeling sad, worried, stressed out. This is a drama creator. Someone here was trying to create drama for you. And for your children. For some of y'all. Or if it's not CPS someone was calling. Someone here could have been calling some form of authorities. Um, in order to invade your privacy. In order for you to um, be investigated. In order for you to be looked into someone was falsely accusing you of something in order to get you in trouble maybe they were trying to say you copyrighted them or something tell me more we have lying under oath someone here lied under oath hot diggity dang second confirmation of the day says um someone threw you under the bus so your father could have lied under oath about you and then they moved out of state something about nebraska could be significant that's where some of you not all y'all are new york New York. <laughs> Let me stop. This Jewish thing keeps coming out. Someone here could be from Israel. Okay. You could be watching me from Israel. I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Or someone here could be Jewish. Me a bitchy person. Someone here could have been gossiping around. Saying, telling people that you're a bitch. You're a bitchy person. You're a bitch or a witch. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or it's someone here who's a bitchy person was going around gossiping about you. Um, we have second degree burglary could be of significance. So someone here um, could have been gossiping about you. So they could get someone to rob you or steal from you. We have B. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a B. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me more? We have cousins. Something about your cousin is significant. Your cousin and your father or your cousin from your father's side of the family is of significance. This person could be an Aquarius or you or you have Aquarius somewhere in your chart or someone's a Virgo says I want to be you. Wow. OK, so in the collective reading, I picked up the Jungle Book song where it goes, I want to I want to talk like you walk like you do. I want to do 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 okay whatever that song um someone wants to be you somebody here wanted to be you it could have been your cousin okay in the song of the jungle book song it said cousin louie so you could have a cousin louie or somebody you have a cousin somewhere that's for some of you know <laughs> y'all tell me more they wanted to be you or they could have stole your identity in some way you're you're about to find this out we have lost lot last quarter I almost said lost quarter. So someone here could have lost their quarter or they could have lost some money. Or someone's trying to get you to lose some money by invading your privacy and doing something here. 
we have new world order so something here is about to change someone here i don't know i'm also getting like someone here is losing their what what they uh, what somebody once believed either about your situation it has now changed we have Q. Someone's first one or last name could start with a Q. Or someone here is going to be asking someone a lot of fucking questions. There's a lot of questions that have been unanswered. And someone keeps asking someone. I don't know. Some sort of lie. Someone's now asking questions about some sort of lie that was told about you. And someone here is like, a lo oh, they're like lost for words. Because they know they're lying. We have shaman. Someone here could be a shaman. This could be you or someone else. <clears throat> we have money made off children. Someone wants me to shut the fuck up. Money made off children. So someone here could have been going around trying to say, um, you're making money off your kids or someone here was trying to make money off of your children. So someone here could be trying to call CPS on you to hurt you because they know that you love your children if you have kids, right? And the main reason why they want you to lose their kids and then they can have custody of your kids so that they can have, they can get a check. Something about a DUI. Someone here could be, um... Someone here could have a DUI or maybe you you got a DUI or something and that's why someone called CPS on you. I don't know. Or someone lied and said you had a DUI or you were driving under the influence with your children in the car. Someone was doing this out of greed. Someone's first mother or last name could start with a J. This could be you or someone else. Hot diggity dang. <clears throat> someone here plays a lot of mind games here. We have I, I bought you. Okay, so someone here could have bought somebody silence or someone here could have... Um, offered up your soul for something that's for some of you not all y'all we have dreams something here about your dreams could be of significance it says you are exactly where you're meant to be okay tell me more spirit we have changed the will or the inheritance so someone here could have changed some sort of will or inheritance <sighs> lied under oath in order to do this we have testify someone here could have lied they could have been told to testify or something and they lied about something or you're going to be called in to testify something. You could be a shaman that gets very prophetic, powerful dreams. You could, um, you could have a very, you could have some form of indigenous bloodline. Okay. Invasion of privacy. You could be a prophet. You guys could get a lot of prophetic dreams. Someone here has been trying to infiltrate your dream state to figure out what dreams you're having because they want to know what you know. Someone doesn't like that you have this ability or something like that. Someone doesn't want you to talk about something. And like I said in the beginning of the reading, you need to get something out into the world. Maybe you need to start sharing what you're, what you're getting, what you're seeing in your dreams. Someone doesn't want you to. Someone's trying to put fear in your heart. But God is calling you to do this. I don't know what you do, child. It says, in a loveless relationship. So someone here could be in a loveless relationship that's trying to call CPS on you or trying to get you to be heartbroken or someone's heartbroken because they're in a loveless relationship and they want to ruin your life. They don't like seeing photos of you being joyous. Take a nap. We have child sacrifice could be of significance. Uh, your father could have, um, like I said, try to offer you up or something or your baby father did. We have co-worker is competing with you. So you have a co-worker here who's competing with you. <clears throat> we have believe in yourself you could believe in yourself somebody mad about it it says you're getting a raise soon either in your frequency or when it comes to some sort of promotion in your job your finances your health your beauty something we have uh, moving relocating so i don't know we got bitchy person so there could be a bitchy person that's moving or relocating or you're going to be moving or relocating from a bitchy person um who is this co-worker that's competing with them because hot diggity dang well, let me do this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who is this co-worker that's competing with them? This is someone here who's nearby you. This could be someone who's nearby your twin flame. Or someone knows that your twin flame is coming 
close to you or is nearby you or you're close to meeting your twin flame or whatever this is or reuniting and you got a co-worker that's upset about this maybe they saw this in their dreams that they, they, they're trying to block your love life that is so sad someone this was a test so i feel like what's going on with this co-worker um this co-worker could have um received this dream about some sort of twin flame coming near you soon in order to be tested okay to see if what they're going to do about you know you getting some sort of blessing and i feel like they they uh they got bitten by the um the the green-eyed devil is what it looked like um we have long term this could be a co-worker that you've known for a long term or a long time okay or someone you or this twin flame wants to come in and they want to offer you a long-term relationship someone here could be scrying into your life using a mirror this could be a co-worker that's doing this we have new connection someone here is trying to see when you are when you when you're someone knows that a new connection is coming in they know it's your twin flame and they're trying to figure out when this person's coming in we have snake someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the snake this could be of the co-worker or you we have distant this person could be at a distance from you whoever this co-worker is we have leo this person could be a leo who's your co-worker who's competing with you this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the roost or this person's about to get exposed roosters out here twice we have scorpio this person could be a scorpio or they could have scorpio somewhere in their chart or you do or this person is about to be put to an end <clears throat> we have admirer okay or someone was trying to stop someone from admiring you we have tiger someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the tiger this could be you or the person that's the co-worker that's competing with you okay 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 this is someone here that's having a pity party and they want you to experience the same type of bullshit they going through because they mad and they jealous um what was this person gossiping about this could be someone in your family someone in your family was gossiping about you or someone was gossiping about your family or someone was gossiping about um your origin how you got your stability someone was gossiping about some sort of bed bedroom activities or something like that that you're into or your sex life something something about your dreams or they're gossiping about what they saw in a dream about you or something like this this could have been a woman They wanted to go around confusing people in order to block your destiny or to misguide someone about you. Or somebody saw that your dreams was coming true and they didn't like that. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Yeah, someone knows that you have the key to success. And they were trying to block some sort of opportunity for you, trying to block your life purpose. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Someone's about to get a taste of their own medicine or something like that. Spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Medicine go down. Medicine go down. Someone here could be like a nanny or a babysitter or something. Or maybe you have like a nanny or babysitter business. Or maybe you're trying to find a nanny or a babysitter or, or something about your babysitter. It's weird. Maybe someone's babysitter is sleeping with their husband or is she trying to murder someone? I don't know. Let's hope not. What's going on? We have the person causing you negativity is an earth sign, my child. This could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Tortor. Toxic. Someone here is very toxic. Be careful not to overindulge in alcohol or some jerugs because someone here is definitely sending a, leg a legion of demons towards you, okay? We have keep a protection pouch on you or with you at all times, okay? To shield you.
Obia? I don't know. Somebody has like a real dark room. They do shit in. It's it's dingy. It smells um like dust or something. I don't know. It says uh they talk about you behind their back. Someone's talking about you behind their uh behind your back, whoever this earth sign is, child. Yeah, you're okay, so you're being asked to recharge your energy. Okay. Distance yourself and take a break. Go on a vacation, pamper yourself or something. Or just do things that make you happy in order to recharge your energy, okay? Because you got someone here really trying to uh harm you. We have uh, spreading rumors about you. So someone here is definitely spreading a lot of rumors about you, child. We have stealing your ideas, pretending they invented them. And then it says they are turning others against you. So you have someone out here turning others against you. They're very toxic. They're trying to cipher their energy off of you. This could be someone who drinks a lot or does a lot of jerugs. We have your closest friends hold grudges against you. So you have a close friend here that's holding a grudge against you. They're spreading rumors about you, chow. <sighs> this person could be a fire sign. It says the person causing you negativity could be a fire sign. So you could have another fire sign that's that used to be a close friend of yours that uh, has a grudge against you. They're spreading rumors. You're being advised to take a spiritual bath. Okay. Tell me more. We have hating on your spiritual gifts and your chow. Someone's hating on your spiritual gifts and your psychic gifts and abilities. Somebody hating on it. Didn't I say that earlier? We have spying on you as part of their daily routine. So this person who has a grudge against you that's spreading rumors and lies about you, they spy on you every day. Every day. This person has low self-esteem. Their envy and inferior towards you stems from a deep-rooted childhood wound. So this could be a Scorpio for some of y'all, or you could have Scorpio somewhere in your chart. This person could be a Pisces, a Gemini. Flip where it needs to go. Virgo. Someone's trying to create delays for you or problems. Or this person could be experiencing some sort of delays or problems now. What kind of rumors are they spreading about them? What are these rumors about? There's rumors about you moving or you changing your job. Or some sort of transformation you went through. Spreading rumors about some... Um, about a mother or you are a mother. Someone could be spreading rumors about you. Someone could be spreading rumors saying that you have people coming and going from your home to get you to get to lose your home or your apartment. Moving you movement using vehicles. Someone here could be lying about where you frequent. Someone here could be lying about you growing things inside your home, like certain herbs. Someone here could be trying to say you're a Jerub dealer? Why do I keep picking this up? Oh my god. What in the hell? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What they need to hear from my Sagittarius? What are these rumors? This is a King of Coins in reverse. This could be a Capricorn for some of y'all that's going around spreading rumors. This could be a broke ass man and or woman. They greedy as fuck. Misery loves company. This person can be very miserable. Or this person's a miser. This is someone here who's very stingy with their money. Or just being generous in general. This person's very disloyal. They're jealous as fuck. They're stubborn. They're ungrounded. This person got problems. They could be spreading rumors about a wise woman. 
or this is a wise woman spreading rumors on you or someone's this okay mate for some of y'all you could have dated this this king of coins in reverse chow this person who's ruled by materialism but yet they can't make their own money <laughs> i can't this person this person could um could be going around uh talking about you i don't know this is somebody here that you eclipsed out of your life. They could have been talking shit about you for the last six months. Or maybe you only knew them for six months or something. Who is this person spreading rumors about them? What is this about? Or someone could have been spreading rumors saying that you're greedy. You're jealous. You're disloyal. You're ungrounded. Okay? Someone could have been going around saying that you lack confidence. Or that you don't have any ideas or you don't know how to come up with ideas. But yet, this is the same person that's stealing your ideas. Eight of Wands. You might. Someone here could have been saying that you're someone here who lacks focus. You're lazy. Um, you're not in alignment for something. You're slow. <laughs> oh my God! What a They were trying to change an outcome for you. Someone's trying to bring you to the Ten of Swords. They're trying to change an, alcohol, an outcome for you. Someone here drinks a lot of alcohol. This person could be... Um, <sighs> this person's weird. Whoever this King of Coins in reverse is, this is the person that hates you but loves you. This is the same person that was gossiping about you, talking a lot of shit about you because you don't want to be with them. Because you knew they were jealous. Or you knew they just weren't a match, a match for you. So they decided to gossip about you. To change an outcome for you. So that you could come back to them. Or so that they can come back and, and help repair. All the swords that they put in your back. Without you knowing that they're the ones that put those swords in your back. Some, somebody was weird. Whatever. You're going to find out the truth about it. We have the Ace of Swords. Or maybe you already see this. That someone... So you already know who, who was behind putting all these swords in your back. You betrayed me. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> okay. Someone betrayed the fuck out of you. This could have been somebody you were married with and you got divorced from. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Someone's trying to change the sort of outcome from you, for you. Someone's trying to get you to lose your job, lose your home, stop your progress, stop your forward movement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, cry, cry. You're getting a raise soon, no matter what. Don't matter. Because this is coming from the most high. These people is wildin'. Hmm. <sighs> What do they need to hear? You're being asked to trust your intuition at this time. It's going to be your best uh, option. We got Gemini. Trust your, intu your intuition when it comes to somebody coming in with some form of communication. Trust your intuition. Okay. I'm getting something here about a human lie detector. You could, whoever I'm speaking to, you know how to, you know when somebody lying to you or not. So trust your intuition. Um, okay. Okay. And then we got Taurus as well. Someone is going to come in and communicate something to you about money or what happened to some sort of money. Someone here is not going to be telling you all the truth. Child. Oh, child. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Sazers need to hear? For their highest good during this time with this situation we're picking up. Yeah, you got a wolf in sheep's clothing that wants to come towards you and tell you the truth, but also tell you the lies. Okay? They're hungry. Cloud, <laughs> cloud hungry, to be exact. Someone here is cloud hungry. You got a rat and a wolf in sheep's clothing coming towards you. This is someone here who says anything, does anything, makes shit up, and bees dramatic. This is your drama starter. So you got a drama starter in your energy. Okay, they could have been saying a lot of lies about you. Confirmation just to get some sort of attention on them. <clears throat> this is a happiness hater. So someone here doesn't like to see you fucking happy. They can close their eyes. This is the wolf in sheep's clothing. This is someone here that doesn't want to see you be happy in another relationship. Okay. 
This is also somebody here that could have broke you and another person up. They don't want you guys to come back together. We have threatened. Someone's threatened by your presence, who you are as a person, your psychic abilities. Because somebody here has something to hide, I guess. Maybe someone here is a drug dealer. I don't know. And they're afraid that you're going to out them. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's a matter of time that this person's going to be found. Okay? It, so, it is what it is. Maybe go get a real job. I don't know. We have... <laughs> I can't. We have intimidating... Um threatened and bothered someone's intimidated and threatened and bothered by you that's why they're acting dramatic that's why they're going around saying anything they can in order to change your outcome change your destiny change you from having a raise or uh some sort of new love in your life or something like that we got moving so you guys have a drama starter that might be moving out or they're being forced to move out of something here or there's a drama starter that was trying to get you to be kicked out of your home Okay, maybe you live with this person. Maybe you live in an apartment complex and someone here in this apartment complex was trying to get you to trying to start drama in order for you to get kicked out or in, in order to drive you out of your home or your apartment or something like that. Or this is someone here in your neighborhood that just keeps calling, you know, the homeowners association on you because you're planting sunflowers in your front yard and that's not up to code for the, the homeowners association. Or, you know, someone's calling CPS on your kids because they don't like how loud they play out outside or something i don't know who whatever this is child someone here is trying to create drama for you because they're miserable and like i said someone here felt like they needed to get rid of you someone here was deeming you the problem for something and you're not the problem the problem is within this person this problem is the fact that this person has unhealed childhood wounds that they refuse to like do anything about that's the problem. It's just your light shines and illuminates it to this person so much that, you know. They're just mad that they have to face something they don't want to face. Yeah, bad habits. This person could have a lot of fucking bad habits. They could be on drugs. They could have a lot of addictions, sexual addictions or some shit. Some sort of toxicity. This is the this is clarifying the wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, we have legal issues. It says court, judges, immigration, lawyers. So for some of y'all, someone here who is trying to be all clout hungry, saying this and that about you, they about to get lawsuits. Okay, maybe you're taking a lawsuit on this person. Maybe there's something here about um what's it called defamation of character, slander. Somebody here might uh, be having to, you know, write a check that their mouth can't cash. Something like that. I don't know. Somebody was somebody was reckless with the mouth. And now it's going to get them in trouble. All because someone was bothered by you when they should have just mind their business like you were. Yeah, this is someone who's obsessive. This is an obsessive lover. Someone here who felt like you had to be gone at all costs. And, and uh, what's it called by any means necessary someone felt like you needed to be eradicated from uh, the planet <laughs> this is the drama starter this is under moving it says dangerous toxic unhealthy possessiveness karmic rejected you could have rejected this person because they have bad habits because they're on jerugs because they have some sort of toxic behaviors or something like that You made the right choice, Sag. We have getting evidence, proof, or facts. Okay. So there's some sort of proof about this person either trying to intimidate you or threaten you. Or there's pro uh, there's proof and facts that someone here is bothered by you. Um, or somebody found something on someone's phone. Now my left ear is ringing. And this is going to cause someone to get into legal troubles, baby. There's proof that somebody was uh, doing something heinous. We have on their head. Someone here could be stressed out. They're overthinking. They're overanalyzing something here. Whoever this obsessive lover is. Okay. Or somebody here was definitely trying to get you in your head. Okay. Someone was trying to do something to you to get into your head. To get you to be stressed. Okay. By creating all this drama. <clears throat> we have kissing ass. So someone now wants to come towards you and kiss your fucking ass. Whoever this drug addict is. We have love triangle. It says third party... 
uh, multiple lovers choices so this is a third party here who is uh who might be getting into legal issues this person's a stalker they stalk you they watch you they're obsessed with you <sighs> Ew, this person creeps on you someone could have been going around saying you have an std who's this stalker maybe that's how maybe that's how this this is why someone's gonna have legal issues who's this stalker they could even doctored up uh like medical paper that says like like from a medical office that says that you have some form of std when you don't why do we have stalker this could have been a friend an acquaintance or a co-worker that was involved in this they're involved in stalking you <clears throat> or they could be obsessed with you this person could have the chinese zodiac sign of the goat or you do who does stalker watching them obsessed we have twin flame this could be your twin flame who's stalking you child okay or they're stalking you because of your twin flame we have Taurus. You guys could have a Taurus here who's stalking the hell out of you. Or you could have an Aquarius that's stalking the hell out of you. Okay. Or someone's stalking the hell out of you because of money and your healing or something or your purpose. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of, your, of the horse. Okay. This could be you or the stalker. <clears throat> this person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. Okay. This person could be a soulmate of yours, family, lover, business, friend. Um, that you have a soul connection with and then we have short term so this is somebody here that you've only known for a short amount of time possibly or someone's trying to cut your twin flame journey short with this person this person's a fucking groupie this person acts like they're a groupie who's this obsessive lover because somebody here dangerous as hell somebody could be just with someone for money for greed and that's why they're trying to bad mouth you because they don't want this person to look at you in a positive light or something like that and they want to hold on to this person whoever this um obsessive lover is who is this obsessive person this person could be a tomboy they could be a lesbian or this person could be bisexual or gay or something i don't know or the way this person's dress the way the person this person dresses is significant we have moles or freckles Okay, this person could be um, someone here who has a lot of swag or someone here was trying to take your swag. Someone here was obsessed with like watching you, stalking you and trying to take your swag, trying to walk like you, trying to talk like you. You could be in the public eye, don't have to be. You could be a rising star that someone's trying to do this with. We have curvy body. This person could have a curvy body. Okay, who's the obsessive lover. Someone here could be a blue collar worker. Someone here could work with their hands. Okay, someone here could be a player from the Himalayas. Tell me more. This person could have a lot of options. We have, um, or someone was trying to make you look like a, a, a hewer, one or the other. Or someone was trying to say you're a player when you're not. We have nature lover. We have Aries. This person could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. This person could have been in competition with you. This person could have olive skin. This person could have dimples. This person could wear glasses. And last but not least, this person could ride motorcycles or dirt bikes or something like that. What the hell? <sighs> Who getting these legal issues, child? Who's, who's going to have these legal issues? Someone you once were in a long-term relationship with? Someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig? Someone who's a masculine energy? Someone who has Pisces somewhere in their chart or somebody who lied about something out of devilish energy. We got Capricorn. We have short term. We have admirer. We have mirror. We have goat at the bottom of the deck. Someone was only um, able to get you to mirror some sort of uh, mirror their same energy for only a short amount of time and never stuck. But they keep trying and trying. This person could be a Pisces or a Capricorn, okay? Or someone lied out of hatred and jealousy. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of pig or you do, or this person could be a masculine energy or you are. Someone doesn't like that someone admires you and they want long-term with you. They're about to get legal issues. Legal issues. Someone now wants to come in and kiss your ass.
I'm also getting maybe somebody here, this obsessive lover, didn't want you to move on from them. That's why they started drama with you because you moved on from them. Maybe you triggered this person's abandonment issues. Maybe that's the childhood wound that they can't get over or they have not healed. We have 717. Could be very significant for some of y'all. What's this person, Karma? So we can. I gotta hurry up. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time when it comes to these motherfuckers, Karma? Thank you. We have bad luck at gambling. So somebody here is having. They 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 took a risk and it didn't work out. <clears throat> they made a bad gamble. We have car accidents. Someone here might end up getting into a car accident. We have cursed with food addictions. So someone here could have been trying to curse you with food addictions. And now it's going to happen to them. Something here about sugar. Something here about a sweet tooth. Maybe someone's trying to get you to eat a lot of sweets of, of as of late. Okay. We have forced to live a hobosexual life. Okay. So someone here is never going to. No, nah, I don't want to say never. This person's going to have a hard time being stable on their own. We have throat chakra blocked. It says losses in expression, truth, and communication. Because someone here is trying to block yours. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. It says struck in with laziness and a lack of motivation. So like I said in the beginning of the read, someone here was trying to get you to be lazy, unmotivated. Trying to stop you from, you know, trying to get you to be procrastinating or something on the things that you need to do. <clears throat> and now it's going to happen to them. Somebody wanted, this could be someone here that all they do is they sit around, they eat a bunch of food. And, and they don't do anything with their life or something. I don't know. Joe. And they wanted you to mirror the same, you know, reality that they have. But that's it's not meant for you. We have uh, suffering from spell work done on them. So someone here is now suffering for some sort of spell work. Okay. Someone here is going to be getting evicted. Or they're going to be experiencing some sort of foreclosure on a home or something. They're getting kicked out of a home. Or they did get kicked out. I don't know. We have unrequited love connection. So you and another person have an unrequited love connection. Or that's all they're going to be running into. People who um, they end up falling in love with. But the con but the but it's not equal. The love isn't equal. It's not reciprocated. We have su a sudden onset of illness. So someone here going to get sick. Because they were trying to get you sick. <laughs> Excuse me. We have fatal accidents. Damn. Car, plane, train, crash, hit and run. I don't wish this upon anyone, but this is something that's coming out. Okay, guys? I'm just reading the cards. It says, their true character being seen by those they respectedly hid it from. So, somebody's true, true colors. True colors. <laughs> Someone's true colors are about to be seen. <clears throat> and it's about to, they're about to be exposed in front of people that they've been really trying to not have it be exposed to because they care about the, how these people view them or something. Someone here could be having a lot of car problems, engine failure, breakdowns, or damage. Maybe this is what someone was trying to do to you. Someone here was trying to send negative energy to your vehicle, your forward movement. They took a bad gamble. Somebody thought you were an easy target. Okay. <clears throat> they done fucked up. Let's get out the shells real quick. Okay, this is going to be loud. Okay. Someone here could be a life path. Four, seven, six, three, five. Someone here could be in their 30s. Someone here could be 31. The number 13 could be significant. <clears throat> the number 18 could be significant. Someone here could be born in 83, 81, 85, 84, 86, 75, 76, 74, 78. Someone here could be a master number 33. Someone here could be a life, pa a life path 2. Something here about the year 2023 could be very significant. Someone here could be 21. Someone here could be 65, 63. Okay. We have 007. Someone here thought they were in disguise, but um, 
they're about to be their dis their disguise is about to fall away or something like that. Another zero. You guys can be seeing zero zero zero. Something here about a great reset. Okay. Someone here could go to CSUN. Or someone here could be in college or something like that. Or you met somebody in college, whoever this person is, who could be attacking you. <clears throat> someone here could be really good at playing rummy. Or playing cards. Someone here could be good at gambling or something like that. Or they were. Someone here could now be looking at you as a gem. Someone here could drink a lot of rum. Something here is about to be summed up. Someone here is about to, something here is about to be wrapped up. Someone here could hum a lot. This could be you or someone else humming. I heard that when you hum, it um it drives away bad spirits or something like that. Or you're about to humble somebody, or you did humble someone. Someone here could think that you're yummy. Girl, I got that yummy, 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 yummy. Girl, you got that yum. Maybe someone feels like you got that yummy, yummy. I don't know. I don't know. Someone here could have a lot of muscles or something like that, or someone eats muscles. Like the selfish, the shellfish, or something, or someone here could have real big muscles. Someone's name could be Gary, or someone here could have a lot of gray hairs. Okay, or someone has a drive. Someone drives a gray vehicle. Someone here could be a musician. Someone here could do music. Okay, or they have some sort of musical talent. Or someone here could drive a Mustang. <clears throat> Man, someone wants me to shut the fuck up. Someone here has sexual fantasies about you. They chant your name or they visualize you as they um, climax or something. Someone's name is Gust or Gustavo. Someone here broke the rules. They have rules. Or someone was trying to get you to look like you broke the rules in order to get you kicked out of something, out of your home, out of the job, something like that. <clears throat> but I don't think this worked. Okay, someone wants to come in and say what's up with you. Someone's name could be Leslie. Someone here could be real clumsy. Or that's what someone was trying to do to you. Trying to get you to be clumsy or trying to get you to fuck up or fumble something. I don't know. Or you guys could be dealing with someone who's super messy. Like maybe they have a messy house or... Or they're just messy, like someone here was definitely trying to create, you know, drama. Someone here could be packing up their luggage or something here. Something here about a slug? I don't know, you guys could be seeing a lot of slugs lately or... Something about moving at a, cell, a snail's pace. Maybe someone's trying to get you to move very slowly. When it comes to something, or that's what someone was saying about you, you slow as hell. Or <laughs> something, I don't know. Gosh, diggity dang. Somebody did something to you that was inhumane or something. Something about a computer could be significant. Someone here could live off PCH, the highway. Someone here could be a superintendent of a school. Someone's initials could be MJ, RJ, EJ, CJ. Someone here could 
in here did something real sly or they thought they were real sly sly someone's name could be sylvester sylvester the molester i'm just joking um <clears throat> We have cup. Someone wants to come in and give you their cup. Mr. Sly. Mr. Sly. Someone's name could be Esmeralda. Something about a museum could be significant. Maybe you went to a museum with this person before someone's name is Huey someone could be ending up in the penitentiary for something something is going on with someone's penis Something going on with someone's lens, lenses of their glasses or something, or their prescription. Maybe someone needs a new RX. Or someone's addicted to, to prescription pills. Someone here could be PMSing right now. Or someone could be saying like, you're, I don't know, you're always PMSing, you're a bitch. Someone's a bitch. Maybe they're walking around acting like... They're always on their period or something. I don't know. Or this is a man that acting like they, they're always PMSing or some shit. We have men. This could have been a group of men that was involved in something here. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or you hang out with a group of men. Something about someone's... <laughs> I'm not. Someone's name is Henry. Someone's name could be Lenny. Generation X. Someone here could be from Generation X. This could be you or someone else. Someone kept trying to pry into your life. Thinking they were sly. But you're about to get justice for this. Someone's name is Jennifer or Jenny. Jenny. Okay, I'm gonna end it. Something about Peru. Someone here could be Peruvian. Something here about an x ray. Maybe someone needs to go to the doctor. Mm. Someone here could be an RN that you're dealing with, or you are an RN, an RN. Someone's name is Murray. Something here about the results of someone's child or the pregnancy. What's it called? Maybe someone's pregnant. Um, but something here about a uh, what's it called? Paternity test. The test results came in. Someone's child ain't their child. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could eat a lot of curry. Someone here has been saying a lot of racial slurs about someone. Or there's somebody here that is slurring their words a lot because they're always on jerugs or alcohol. This could be an ex of yours. Maybe they're going to be coming towards you slurring their words. Someone here could be from Germany. Or someone's name is German. Something about September is significant. This month is significant. Something here about Gen Z is significant. There could be a difference in generations as well. This is 
okay, something about slurping. Gross. Okay, let's end this. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Sages need to hear so we can bounce? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to know so we can wrap this up? Because I got to go. Okay, it says, you have a gift of courage. You have the gift of courage, so be brave. There's something here that you need to share, something here you need to get out to the world. Okay, don't be afraid. We have star seed. You could be a star seed. You're meant to be seen. You're not meant to be hidden. Okay? You're here to make a difference here. You're here to help people heal. You're, you're here to be a beacon of light. You're here to be someone who goes against the norm. We have rebirth. Okay? So you could be going through a rebirth or, or a big transformation or you already did. Or there's someone around you going through some sort of major transformation. We have trauma. Okay? There's something here about turning your pain into gain, okay? There's something here about turning all the things that you went through, okay? The things that you had to overcome into power, all right? Tell me more. There's a reason why you went through some form of trauma, okay? There's a reason to it. There's a rhyme and a reason. You could be a tarot card reader. You could be a tarot card reader, star seed. You could be a seer. You could be a prophet, something like that. We have spend time alone, yeah. So you're being asked to spend some time alone at this time, okay? Because you got what was that card? You there's a legion of demons that are trying to get at you through other people, okay? We have dreams are coming true. They're trying to stop you from your dreams coming true. That's why. You see how my freaking thing got cut, got caught in my um, table? There's someone here that's trying to grab your piece of cloth your clothing to hold you back they don't want your dreams to come true but they're coming true okay saggy they coming true baby boo they coming true and that's why people want to be like you ooh, ooh. they want to talk like you walk like you Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? What's going on with my Sages? What do they need to hear for their highest good so we can bounce? We have 1331. It says, have faith in your skills and your talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future. A piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. All right? You got to believe. Got to believe it. Baby boo. Okay, that's way too many. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to hear? We have 0550, the eye candy. Ooh, okay. It says, get some fresh air or call some of your pals over. Take a look around you. There is so much natural beauty waiting to be discovered. Either you will soon become involved in an exciting new project or you will go out on dates. Okay, Sadgers. Put your charisma to use everywhere. Spread your charm around. Okay, you little, you charming little charismatic eye candy of you. Okay, go out there and do it. Child. Ooh, okay, we're sorry. We have 11.44. It says high vibes. It says love or other happiness lurks just around the corner for you, Sag. It will be something much better than in your wildest dreams. A rare opportunity, an exciting encounter with like-minded people will exceed your expectations. Ciao. You about to meet somebody here or meet people here that are on your frequency, baby boo. And then we have, it's time for intense self-development. Focus your mind on your craft, your talent. It says you already have what it takes to succeed, but practice makes you a master. It says it also serves to find your true purpose. Leveling up in your career or your business is a priority right now because you have a unique set of skills, baby boo. And you're needed. All right, listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Till next time, I love you. Okay, bye.